Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. I am Kimberly D'Souza. Rokas has invited me here today and I am here with Rokas. Um, but right now on the line, I have the Public Relations Officer for the Tobago Council of the PNM. I have on the line Mr. Kwesi Devines. Mr. Devines, good morning. Good morning, Kimberly. You sound like you're there under duress from Rokas. <laughs> <laughs> looks, can be crazy. looks can be deceiving i promise he, he he's okay he's been treating me very well i must say he's okay all right then <laughs> mr devines i mean um, this <laughs> i mean this this morning um it can be seen as a very sobering one it can also be seen as a very uh historic one i mean how are you feeling uh this morning you know coming out of the results that we would have heard last night Vox Populi, Vox Day, um, has spoken. Um, the reality, as I've told many people, the PNM has been around for 65 years. We've contested every single election, um, every single seat in every single election. Um, we've won many elections and we've lost elections. Um, so in the Tobago instance, of course, um, this is new for us, um, but we have been out of power in Tobago before. Um, so it means then that we have to take the lesson that we learned. Um, the people have said very clearly what they want, the mandate is clear. And, and we now have to look at ourselves very deeply and, and start moving forward. Um, the, the interest is of always service to the people and the PNM will continue to serve. Um, whether we are in office or out of office and on this occasion, we will continue to do what we have to do to represent and make sure that Tobago's development is of paramount importance. Um, so that, that's what this morning. Um, in terms of um, what are the lessons learned? I mean, uh, moving forward, what are just some of the things that you learned uh, during this election that maybe you know the, the party can maybe improve on as they look forward to the next four years? Well, you know, I was I've been telling people that sometimes the story is written, sometimes it's read, um, and and the reality is here that. Some people might blame the actions of this election, but it could be actions from uh, as far back as who was when. Um, in 2013, it was 12-0, as you're well aware. But right before that, in 2010, we lost the two Tobago um, seats in the parliamentary elections. And we moved to 8-4 in um, 2009. So um, the, the trend is there as well. Um, 20 years of the, the 1980 to 2001, um, 20 years of the PNM, 2001 to 2021. And we will see what happens next. Um, Tobagoans um, have way um, of generations. And we have to continue to connect with the generations because it means after people have become accustomed to a particular um, standard of life, um, it doesn't matter what you did 10, 20 years ago. And you, sometimes it doesn't matter what you did in the last year. And the result for someone even like Kelvin Morris is very telling and he was able to win in 20 in january by the largest margin and now um it seems as he's lost his seat as well um in a matter of months and this is someone who has continued to represent um so it may not be exactly what we have done or some may not even what we have not done i um, it may just be a much larger um picture um that we have to probably zoom out and, and really taking it and be to be able to appreciate the entire picture. Now, I know that it may have been um, disappointed, but was it expected, at least the, um, the, the numbers that we are seeing, was it expected to, you know, for the, for the PDP to make such a dent in these elections? No, um, you're going to any competition, at least for the PNM, you're going to any competition to win. Um, personally, that's the same thing. So I don't know that we expected it. Um, the projections all said otherwise in any case. Um, but the Tobago people felt differently. And it's something that we accept. Um, do we, do we um, destroy ourselves? Do we implode? No. Um, as you said, we look very deeply and very hard. Um, of course, first internally. And then we look at um, where our shortcomings may or may not have been. Um, we do the things that we did well better. Um, we do the things that we did not do so well, we probably don't do them at all or we improve on them and, and we move forward. Um, one thing you can be sure of is that um, in the next election, there will be PNM um, again there to represent the people calling on us, calling on the people for a mandate. Um, and of course, it will be from the place of understanding 
um, what the people want or don't want. And really, really meeting with the people because sometimes communication is all that matters. I can tell you that even though the campaign was a great one, um, we rolled out um, quite a lot of information. Even yesterday, while you know getting some people to vote, those were not the issues that people were, not, were concerned about. Um, so we really and truly have to look at how do we keep in contact? How do we keep close to the people? How we and keep that really communication open. Thing. How Correct. we keep that communication keep open at the end. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Devines. That is the Public Relations Officer for the Tobago Council of the PNM. We wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much for joining us.